Hey everyone, how is it going? And happy Pi Day! If you don't know what Pi Day is, it's March 14th, 3.14. It's the beginning of the value of Pi, that's why it's called Pi Day. Anyways, uh, I have a little Raspberry Pi experiment that I thought would be kind of fitting. Actually, it doesn't really make much sense, but uh, why not? Let's do something. So, anyways, I was looking through my drawers with all my random electronic stuff, and I found one of these. It's a little uh, Peltier element, and what you can do with this is you can actually generate electricity by applying heat to one side. That's what's actually in my energy harvesting ring. And the opposite effect happens when you apply current, well, a voltage to this. And you can actually make one side cold and one side becomes hot. So I thought it'd be cool to put this on the processor of the Pi and see what uh, actually happens, see if we can get any cooling. So let's do that now. Okay, check it out. Here's where we're at. Uh, got the hot glue gun out, and I stuck on the Peltier underneath the heat sink there, right here, and just gave it some hot glue. I also put on some leads so I could plug it in. Now what I've got going on here is uh, a battery pack that'll be about 5 volts, which will safely run the Peltier. I'm pretty sure I could run it at higher, but... Uh, I found they become less efficient from the uh, resistance. This is a little screen that will run through UART, so actually I can hook this directly up to the Pi's UART, and I'll have to write a little Python script that will uh, output the temperature so that we know what it's doing in real time. And yeah, everything's kind of good to go. Uh, I gotta put this heatsink thing on here, which is pretty cool how well this fits right on there. So now we got a little fan with the Peltier because you gotta cool it because it gets hot. Screen, this LED will light up and we got a button. So uh, I'll get that all connected and we will see how well this Peltier performs. See if it can do any cooling whatsoever. Should be pretty interesting. Here we got the screen hooked up. Ethernet so we can talk to it. Power, nothing gets fried. All right, so far so good. That's gonna go all crazy because it's actually taking the direct UART lines from the Pi, so it's gonna take everything that the Pi outputs on the UART, which is a bunch of stuff when it first boots up. But then we can control it with a, with a uh, Python program, which should be pretty easy. Should be a pretty simple program that we should be able to implement here. Also, you're probably wondering why I'm not powering the Pelte with the Pi itself. Well, they draw a lot of current, so it's good to have... It's good to use the battery pack. I could use some external supply, but that's just what I chose to do. Less wires, I guess. So right now, I'm just about to log into my Pi over the network uh, using SSH. So... I will get one going open and I will write a quick program for it uh, to see the temperature and uh, what else? Oh, and to display to the screen. program written here. Simple Python script that uh, reads the temperature and it opens the serial, the UART, so I can send it to that other piece. And then it keeps doing that every second. Pretty simple and so we can see right on the Pi what the temperature of the processor is 
at any given time. So now that everything's wired up, turn this light off so we can see. We run the script. Saying 33 degrees. And we got 33 over here. 33, 32. Okay. So I have this wired up to a button right here. And what this will do, it will power this fan and the Peltier at the same time. The wiring is probably a little bit sketchy, so we'll see if we can get it working. But this temperature should go down. And look at that. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Can we go lower? Now, how cool is that? That dropped so about six degrees or so. So when we apply current to the Peltier, it makes the processor side cold and makes the heatsink side hot. So then you have to blow the hot side away with the little fan. Now I can show you when I disconnect the Peltier that the fan will not allow the temperature to drop that much, if at all. So it's at 34. It's probably going to be a little bit hotter because the Peltier is a little bit hotter, but if we just run the fan, I'd be surprised if we even got down to like 31. See the difference? So that was a fun, quick little project. Pretty interesting messing around with Peltiers. They're cool little devices. I have a few of them. I have some big ones, small ones. You can do some neat things with them. I had to do something, it was Pi Day. And last year I did some short little experiment with popsicle sticks. Duel was there. It was on Snapchat, that's what I'm pointing at. I might have a Snapchat story of it, I can't remember. Well, that's it for Pi Day. That's all I could muster up. And hopefully I finish this video before Pi Day ends because it's getting pretty late. Okay, so everyone, be good and good night.